Hey what's going on everyone, this is Yummy Mash bringing you a Gears of War 2 ranked commentary number 2 and I get a score of 18 and 3 which is one more kill than my last commentary so I'm proud to have beaten that. And you'll also see that I skipped around in this match due to people camping with frag grenades and ended in a stalemate and I didn't think you guys would like to sit there for 5 minutes and watch people camp. Uh, but anyway, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning and I've been trying to do this commentary now for about 30 minutes because I keep failing <laughs> towards the end. So hopefully this one will go a bit better. Uh, anyway, I just want to thank you all for the 4,000 subscribers. That is actually a really big number. When in, To me, it is a really big number. And you know, I just want to thank you all for supporting my channel and actually subscribing. And I'm, I'm just happy that you guys actually at least find my videos slightly interesting and entertaining, so thank you very much. And what I actually want to talk about is, um, I want to talk about my journey from when I first made my YouTube account and when I, you know, when I first started playing Xbox. And I, I was hoping maybe you, some of you might find this quite engaging in a way, so yeah, here I go. Um, I made my YouTube account back in 2007 during the summer of July and I made it for the sole purpose of being able to comment on videos and also for adding my friends on YouTube to my uh, you know to my YouTube account as friends and whatever and subscribing to them and I never had the intention of actually posting videos for quite a few months after and that was also around the time when I got pretty good at playing the keyboard and I learned a few songs and you know I could play them pretty well so what I did was I got my webcam from my computer and recorded myself playing these songs on my keyboard and then I put them on my YouTube account and you know they got a couple hundred views I got some nice comments and I left them on my YouTube account for about a year before I took them down um, this was also around the same time when I had my Xbox and I played a couple games with a few of my friends in real life like Shadowrun and I got Gears of War 1 with my Xbox, but I actually didn't like it at the time. And I took my Gears 1 disc back to Game Station and traded it in for something else. So, which was, you know, when I look back at it now, it's, it seems like a crazy idea, but that's what happened. Uh, but anyway, um, then all my friends next year, 2008, they were all going to get Gears of War 2 because they pre-ordered it for the midnight launch. So I said to myself, since they're all going to get the game, uh, when it comes out the next day, I'm going to just go in the shop and buy it so I can play with them. And I really didn't expect myself to enjoy the game so much. And actually when I first started playing it, I didn't really enjoy it either, but because I was playing with my friends, I played it quite a lot with them, and you know, it kind of grew attached to me. Um, I was really, really bad when I first started and I didn't know the maps at all and I always voted Pavilion because that was the one map I felt safe on because I could camp in the spawn but I put an ink grenade and a smoke grenade tagged on the wall on the archway when they come into your spawn area so they get knocked down because it was obviously ragdoll back then and they'd get killed by the ink and I'd sit in the corner with my chainsaw and just chainsaw them if they ever got through <laughs> it was kind of fun actually uh, now that I think about it and I also actually watched some montages on YouTube and because I was so bad at the time I found them amazing I was like wow these guys are getting headshots like crazy and I had three favorite montages and surprisingly enough they were all Gears of War 1 montages it was Calmosity's final, Demon Punisher's final and Axstar's final and I found them all you know insane and I was like wow I, I want to be as good as these guys one day and I decided to buy Gears War 1 again and try and get slightly good at it which didn't work very well for a good while and I also bought a capture card not long after either because I wanted to make a montage and when I got it the actual software didn't work on my computer there was no screen it said I must have plugged it in wrong checked my cables and I got really angry and I just grabbed my capture card chucked it in a cupboard and just left it there for like two months like really upset and it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't for until about two months later when I realised maybe it's not my software, maybe it's my computer. So I tried the uh, software on my laptop and it worked. So I was then able to record things on my capture card. So I deleted all my videos of me using a video camera. <laughs> yes, I recorded myself playing this all with a video camera for, for about two months. Uh, embarrassingly. <laughs> and um, then I started posting videos with my capture card. 
I then found out about AMCAP, so I got Colour, then I made my first shotgun montage, and that got quite a lot of views quite quickly actually, because it, you know, it was a popular thing back then, Gears of War 2 shotgun montages. And, um, you know, I posted some videos, and at that time I had a couple hundred subscribers, so I was quite happy. Um, it was also around that time when I was a snipe match person. I played snipe matches on Gears 1 all the time, and, you know, I got a bit better by that point, because obviously, snipe matches, um, it's not a thing that proves you have skill with a sniper, but it, you can get the basics down better with the sweep shots and the, the pop shots and whatever, and I got better at them because of that. And I made a snipe match clan called F5. Uh, not the F5 we all know now, uh, Fatal 5, which is Alex Owens' clan. No, this was a clan called Fatal Snipers, which I made. And I was called F5 Flops at the time, and I had a few of my friends in the clan. And we would play sniper matches together. And I'm going to be honest, we weren't really that good. <laughs> and I remember this time on Fuel Depot when I was in a match with Define, Define No Evil. And I think I headshotted him three or four times in a row, and I was really proud of myself, like I accomplished something. And I like sent him a message like, ha ha ha, get raped. <laughs> uh, he probably blocked me, oh well. Um, anyway, eventually I kind of grew out of that phase, and I then went into Gears of War 2 competitive things, like GB. And I joined a GB team, and that was called Axis I. And my, I changed my game attack to Axis I Frozen. And that game battles team was actually led by a friend of mine in real life who lives about a 30 minute walk away from me in the same town. And his name was Ben. And I'd actually go around his house, would have a curry, I took my Xbox around his, he had like a separate uh, monitor. So we both played Xbox at the same time, we did game battles matches, double host. Yes I know it's cheating and you're probably pissed off at me now but you know at the time we did it. And I, I remember this time when uh, we, it was, it, we had four people left and they had one person and my teammate had the boom shot and he fired out the ground and killed all four of us and didn't kill the the, the enemy team teammate. He like somehow survived and it was like a 4v1 clutch gone horribly wrong like in the opposite way. And it, I was laughing my head off so much and everybody was laughing, it was funny. But anyway, uh, anyway, I ended up getting kicked out of that clan after a few months due to inactivity. I didn't play enough with them supposedly, and I was supposed to play like an hour a day practicing in scrims, and I didn't, so they got rid of me. And then I changed my game attack to something like Biofrozen, which was Bring It On. Well, that's what the clan meant, Bring It On. And that was a ranked clan, uh, which was led by a guy called Android, and he made shotgun montages as well, if any of you know him. And, you know, that was kind of fun, he's a really good guy. He, he ended up going away a lot, he was always like, be right back, and then he'd go for like 10 minutes, like, all the time. But, you know, I had some good games with him, it was a bit of fun. And eventually I left that too. And... I think that I changed my game tag to some like dude or something, D triple U, D triple E. And that was around the time when I decided to start making top plays, which was probably the best idea I've ever thought of at the time. And the reason I say this is there was three channels that posted top plays. The first one obviously is Gearsopedia, however they weren't very active, like they'd sometimes they'd post and then sometimes they'd have like two or three months gap before posting another. There was Underground Gaming, which were quite inconsistent, like some of the top play clips would be really bad, and you know, sometimes it'll be good, but the inconsistency was kind of wary on me. And the other one was uh, Game Zone Global, but their channel kind, kind of died, they didn't post a video for about 7 months straight. So it was probably the perfect time for me to start posting consistent top plays, and try and get my clips better over time. And obviously at first my top plays weren't very good, I didn't have a big base and subscribers, I only had about 200. My videos aren't, weren't getting that many views, so not many people sent me clips to my top plays. But as I posted them, I um, I advertised them on a forum and I gained subscribers uh, gradually. And then that's when my uh, top 10 plays October came out and thanks to DJ um, who sent me the triple turbo headshot, I actually gained over a hundred subscribers in about two days, which was the most I've ever gained from one video, I think, ever. And, um, you know, it was around that time when I hit about five or six hundred subscribers, and I was really pumped, I was so happy. And I continued to post top plays and 
people's montages and a few of my edits, like Gizzapedia Minute, I did a edit edit on that. And eventually I hit a thousand subscribers, which was a massive milestone for me. And I said to myself before I hit that number, that if I ever hit a thousand, I'll be happy no matter what. But you'll find that when you actually hit the number, you just want the thousand after that. You want two thousand, then you want three thousand. I guess you could call it greed in a way, but it's like setting yourself a target or a milestone, and it motivates you to post videos, doesn't it? The same reason why um, you want people to comment and like your videos, because it shows that people are interested. And anyway, obviously over time, I hit like 4,000 subs now, which is the best number ever. <laughs> and I just want to thank you all, and it's been a really fun journey, and this hobby of mine, I'm just ha I just am happy that you guys are at least enjoying some of my videos. Because that's what they're here for, not for my own needs or anything, it's for you, like, so you guys can enjoy what I post. Anyway, thank you for watching this video, I hoped you found it slightly interesting. Um, yeah, it was it was different, you know, talking about my experiences, and hopefully the gameplay was good, it was a decent score. So anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a nice evening or a day. Or oh, whatever time I uploaded this video. <laughs> if it's in the afternoon, I hope you have a nice day. If I uploaded this in the evening, I hope you have a nice evening. So yeah, thank you and take care.